So guys, we're out here in the Hunter Classic once again, and today we're here on Settler Creeks for another Let's Go Hunting video. We are here to hunt cottontail rabbits with the 22 Grasshopper. So this was Zaggity K's suggestion, and unfortunately it was the one that got the most votes, because as you guys probably know, I do not like Settler Creeks, and I'm really not a huge fan of the cottontail rabbits either, so I thought I would ask Zaggy to join me for this hunt, because he actually does like hunting the rabbits, but unfortunately, he did not want to join, so I'm all alone hunting pretty much my least favorite map in the game, and one of my least favorite species, so this should be interesting. We might be onto something already, we do have a max weight rabbit track, 1.5 to 2 kilograms, and it is very fresh. I'm thinking it's probably sitting right over here in the tree somewhere, so it just fled when I came into this field. I would say it is down here somewhere by this riverbed. And of course the problem is, for whatever reason, the rabbits love these little thick areas by the riverbeds, and they're just so hard to actually spot them in, and of course I'm using a 22 pistol thanks to somebody, and not a shotgun, so I can't just point and shoot when they flee, I actually have to either find them sitting down or hit them with a pretty much perfect shot with the pistol, but I see you over there. Are you the one that I'm after? If I could ever spot you, you probably are. So let's make sure we hit it in the head. What are you doing? A little bit laggy, but she is down. That might be a decent rabbit. Definitely not a monster. 1682, definitely not a bad start though. We did get it in the neck at 22 meters, so can't really complain about that. Looks like we had another one down here as well, fleeing one to eight minutes ago, so it probably fled maybe when we just shot the other one, but it's probably in this riverbed as well. I do believe that is the rabbit we're after. It did come out of the riverbed, but let's see what we're looking at here. 800 to like 1280, I think that said, before the grass completely covered it. I might just back up and go for a bit of a long shot then. I don't really know how else to do this. That's with a spotting scope though, so I think I can get a little bit closer with uh, the actual pistol scope. Let's see what this is like. Bad thing is I'm really not going to be able to see its head that well. We'll back up a little more until the grass renders out a little bit for us. We'll see if we can get her in the head. That was close to the head. She definitely didn't get hit in the head because she would have dropped, but hopefully she goes down and I don't have to shoot her again. Alright, and she did go down. So, two down already. Somehow I managed to get a right ear shot on that. I thought, if anything, it was actually a little bit low, but 996 is a tiny cottontail. But as we track the next rabbit, be sure to leave your suggestions for the next Let's Con video in the comments below, because whatever comment has the most likes will be what we do next time. So make sure you leave a animal, weapon, and map, and whatever comment has the most likes, as I said, it will be what we do for the next one. I have spooked this rabbit so many times, but he's finally right here in front of us. I got him to calm down and actually start hopping around. And just like that, he is finally down. That's the problem with Settler Creek's rabbit hunting, because on Logger's Point, there's no, like, huge chunks of forest. I've been tracking this guy through the trees for, like, 20 minutes, because they just keep going into the trees. There's no, like, fields for them to get into, but he finally got onto a hillside in the open a little bit, and I finally got to see him. All that tracking, though, for an 11-46 scoring male, a really tiny one, but we finally got him. But as per usual with the Let's Go Hunt series, I do bring other weapons in case we come across other animals. I have the Forest Camera Reverse Shot Crossbow pretty much for females and small males, and I brought the 10mm for larger males, because I usually use uh, the suggested weapon for, like, other species as well, but obviously I can't do that other than with turkey, so I thought the 10mm was the best option. It's kind of similar with the action and everything, but I just had a male feral hog call, and I had this track earlier. It did get up to 200 kilograms, so we'll probably be taking him with the 10mm. So here is our pig. He's not too bad, 740 to 850, but I did just have a buck grunt, so he is pretty much directly behind the pig. I do want to drop this guy with the crossbow, and then potentially we can take the buck with the 10mm. Perfect, so the buck should be coming in, and knowing my luck on this map, it's going to be a 120s, but you never know, I did have one non-typical on this map, so maybe it'll be my second ever, but we'll grab this guy and then find a better spot to sit. Uh, you can see the ping still in my 108, barely where he grunted, so we'll try to find a little better spot. But an 833 score on this guy, right at the top of the estimate, and we did get brain, neck bone, stomach, and liver. I don't know how we managed to miss the lungs there, but regardless... Let's find a spot to sit for this buck. I don't think we got much choice. We got another buck coming in from the back, and he is getting really close. So he's actually smaller than 120s. I guess I didn't even call that right. I don't think the other one is going to uh, stick around. He's getting somewhat close as well, but I suppose there's a slight chance that maybe he'll just get alerted from that and still come in. I suppose they don't have much of a choice here either. And that is our buck gone. I heard him, but she was going to spook any second. Ah, this map, man. <laughs> I'm gonna go check the tracks on him and see if he's anything heavy. Uh, it pretty much has to be max weight for me to track it. We are, of course, hunting rabbits, but if I saw a max weight white tail track, I'd have to go after it. 101 score on that guy. And a double lung shot at 6.5 meters on the doe. Let's go see uh, what the weight is on these buck tracks. 
They are 7290, so I'm not going to track it. That's like a fair bet that it could be decent, but we are here to hunt rabbits. And of course, I managed to find a different white tail buck track, which is of course max weight 85 to 100 kilograms. So I have to track it. I can't just leave it out here. Uh, white tail are my favorite species in the game, so I can't just not follow it and find out what it is. So the tracks are somewhat old, still 31 to 38 minutes, so maybe we'll run into some cottontails along the way. If not, we'll just worry about them afterwards. I don't know what I did to this map to deserve this, but this is the buck that I've been tracking. 100 to 125 score estimate. I'm just going to shoot him and move on with our rabbit hunt. I don't know why this always happens to me on this map. I'm going to try to get him. Actually, you know what? I was going to go for a hard shot, but knowing this map, I'll somehow mess that up, get a body shot, and he'll run away. This guy will die. Maybe track him all this way, being a heavy but tiny buck, so he has to go down. I don't know how I can get so unlucky to have two deer come in. Uh, and not only spook the first year that I was coming in, this guy was coming into the call that I had earlier that spooked the initial buck, and he spooked from that, so I had to track him all the way back after he fled as well. And to add insult to injury, apparently the score is not going to calculate, but we got our heart shot 60 meters away, and he was 88.6 kilograms, so of course, right at the bottom of the 85 to 100 estimate, but I think usually my game freezes when I do that. I don't know what's going to happen here, but... Hopefully, the other animal scores are still going to calculate. But anyway, back to hunting rabbits. We might go for a long shot on this one. We're about 50 meters out, and I don't want any grass to render in and get in my way. So, can we be prone here? Eh, not really. This is going to be somewhat difficult, but let's see if we can get that to line up. Just went for a body hit. I'm pretty sure he'll go down uh, at that range with a 22. So, figured rather be safe than sorry. He's like 0.8 to 1.3 kilograms, and he did just die over there. So, I knew he wasn't going to be a monster. Rather just go for the shot there where I can actually see him because as you can see now that we're close there is just grass everywhere and that's the other problem with this map. There's either trees everywhere or there's grass in the way so I think this is rabbit number four so far. And a 1091 score on him. I'm glad we started with a decent one because everything else has just been absolutely tiny. I think we might actually have a decent bobcat coming in. 15 to 30 kilograms is the max weight and he just looks like a, a good sized cat so the only weapon I have that I can take him with is the crossbow so whenever he gets to like 30 or 40 meters out I'm going to go for a bit of a long shot because I do not have any camouflage here other than from my hat. I'm kind of back in the trees, but I wanted to be where I could actually see, and I am wearing uh, field camo because of the rabbit hunt. And there actually is a rabbit somewhere out here, at least he was hanging out uh, over in that area, so we can probably go check that out next. In fact, it is right there. But our cat is closing in on 30 meters, so we should probably go for the shot soon. He, in fact, is at 30 meters. I don't know if he'll make it through uh, the brush that's in front of us here. He is kind of slowing down there. I'd like him to step out so I can actually see where I'm aiming. But as soon as he does, I want to go for the shot. He's stopping there. I just don't want him to spook. Because if he spooks, this is going to be a bit of a pain. Because I really don't want to wait uh, for a bobcat when I'm doing a rabbit hunt. Alright, nice. He is down. Let's grab our color and not leave that here. Because I always forget uh, and leave my color behind. Then i got to go back and get it later. Or I just don't have it. If I've got a bobcat later on the hunt, so let's grab that. Not too bad, 8.955, almost a 9+, plus. got a hard shot at 21 meters, so unfortunately he was on the lower end of the weight estimate, 20.6 kilograms, but not a bad cat. We've got a rabbit like right here beside us, but I cannot see it. I can hear it like moving around, I think I actually heard it do a thump, which I didn't know they did in this game, but I'm pretty sure that's what it was. I don't know if I'm blind? Oh, okay, it was hiding behind a tree. Alright, let's see if we can get this one in the head. Ah, eh, not quite. I didn't want to aim too high and end up missing, but it is down. I think that's our fifth or sixth. It'll be our fifth hunt so far. And I had another one flee when I was tracking this one. This one's at least decent, though. 1467, our second best one of the hunt. That's actually kind of sad, but we are on to five. My goal is eight because... Uh, there were seven likes on that comment, so seven votes for it to be this video, plus the actual suggestion itself, so that's kind of eight, so I want to get one for each vote. So we're on to rabbit number six, I just need to actually get a chance to see it, I don't know if I can get it to stand up by sneaking towards it, like I can see its ears moving around, but that's about it, and I don't want to miss, uh, and send it running again. So it either needs to get out of the grass, which is pretty much impossible on this map, or stand up, because I am barely able to see it. I can just see it moving around every now and then. Even there, I can't see it. There we go. Alright, I'll probably have to zoom that in or something, because that was, like, impossible for me to see, so I can imagine if you're on mobile, that was pretty much invisible. But pretty much hit it right in the nose. But another pretty small one, 1228 score on that one. That is number six, so I want to get two more for the entire video. This could be interesting. 1.622 kilograms on that one. That is, of course, max weight 
43 to 50 minutes ago. There is our rabbit right there. I just want to get a spot and see what the actual score estimate says. Maybe. There we go. We've got... 1522-2000, that is the max estimate, so dare I say we might actually have a decent rabbit here. Alright, I can hear, like, the thumps that they make. Just checking around the tracks that's left. I can hear it, like, moving around a little bit. But I do not see it, so we're going to crawl a little bit further forward. It didn't sound like it was right on top of me, so I think we'll be okay to do that, because I'm wondering if, like, this stump or any of the vegetation in front of us was actually hiding it and maybe I can get a little bit of elevation on this and unfortunately that there's no hitbox for that but it is literally like right here then there it is all right uh, I can't really see it but that'll be a hit and that should take it down it is down right there so fingers crossed that it's gonna be a good one 1.72 kilograms apparently when I spotted it so the weight was better than the actual score estimate which does mean it's 1700 plus as a guarantee Oh boy, 2 kilograms means it's 1950 plus. I'm being forced to sit here in suspense. I've got 2.0 kilograms, which means it's at least 1950 plus, and the score is not calculating. I guess I'm gonna sit here for like, I'll wait a couple minutes and see if it actually shows up. If not, I'm gonna go into trophy shot mode and try to take a trophy shot. I don't really know what we've got going on here. I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna be pretty bummed if I can't taxidermize this thing since that score didn't calculate, but let's take the trophy shot and fingers crossed that I actually get the taxidermize option. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, we have shot seven rabbits, so I want to get one more, as I said, for the eight people that voted for the suggestion, but, uh, I feel somewhat accomplished now. I just did pretty much my least favorite, uh, Let's Go Hunt Never, and I'm pretty sure we just had a max score rabbit. And somehow we have another one, 1520 to 2000 square estimate. I was actually thinking about it. Maybe it's not 1999 because, uh, the weight actually rounds, so it could be 1950 plus, but still, it's huge either way. And that should be enough to bring that one down, which could also be a really good one. So hopefully one of the two is 1999, now that I've already said that we had one. I totally forgot about the fact uh, that the weight rounds in this game, because I'm so used to Call the Wild lately. But we do have a male bobcat calling out over there. I might take a look at that. I guess it depends on what this rabbit scores. But another good one, and I think what's going to be our last rabbit of the hunt. Let's see what we've got here. Another 1900 plus 1906 for this one. Two really nice rabbits this hunt. This one wouldn't really cooperate for a holding a trophy shot, but I actually kind of like the way this turned out, just with the barn in the background. It looks kind of funny. I'm going to mount this one too, and I think we'll jump over to the lodge. I'm going to ignore the bobcat. Uh, we did our rabbit hunt. We got eight total and two really good ones. So here we are in the lodge with our two cottontails mounted, and I have not yet looked at the score of the bigger of the two. I do believe it's the one on the left, just looking at them, it looks a little bit bigger to me. Uh, so we'll look at the one on the right first. It is actually the 1906, so this is the one that was 2.0 kilograms. It is at least 1950. Let's find out what we've got. 1980, so not the 1999 I was hoping for. I completely forgot uh, about the weight rounding in this, but still a absolute monster rabbit. We'll do a little bit of moving him around, maybe into that pose. I'll leave that one there, and I had to move my European rabbit into here but that actually went really well for once settler creeks actually like me so maybe i'll hunt here a little more often or maybe it was just a complete fluke and i'll hate it the next time i come here but with that thank you guys for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it leave a like if you did and i'll see you in the next one